Hello and welcome to the next episode of JH Travels, a change of scenery. And just before we start, I want to say it's been a family ambition to come here to Australia and I'm privileged to be standing on Aussie ground. I'm here in the wonderful Melbourne and you can join me in this episode for the wonderful city here. Now I thought New Zealand was pretty exotic but if you walk around the botanic gardens here you'll hear so much more nature it's unbelievable and just behind is the city so it's very close yet the nature is very abundant. Melbourne is such a vibrant and exciting city it's really individual as well and it's probably my best city so far that I've visited take a look at some of the pictures. So that's the pictures of Melbourne for you, such a fantastic city, there's lots to do there. Uh, unfortunately I've only had one day there but I am going back there tonight so hopefully you can see um, some pictures of it lit up at night which should be nice. But there's so much life there, there's a buzz again um, and it's, it's just a fantastic city to see. There's lots of skyscrapers, a lot of history, a lot of historic buildings. It almost reminds me a little bit of um, Barcelona um, but Barcelona has that Spanish twang that um, perhaps Melbourne doesn't. Um, now like any big city, just behind me is Melbourne, over there, but it has its subdivisions and this is one of them, St Kilda, which is right here on the beach and such a fantastic place as well. Um, and I want to tell you a little bit about the nature. Now I did say in JHN Trails that nature will be a part of it and of course here and South Africa are going to be the main two countries that I go to that are going to be full of nature. Now this is a story that's here in St Kilda, a pretty cool story about nature. Listen to this. Literally 10 minutes drive away from the CBD behind me. is this little place called St Kilda and if you walk along the pier which is behind me over there and you go over to a little rocky section what you find is something called a little penguin now I'm not just saying they're little that is the species name the little penguin um, quite something fantastic really that literally a few minutes away from the central part we're seeing penguins now at dawn and dusk is the best time to see them they go out in the daytime and then come back in the dusk. So take a look at a few of the images and videos that um, I captured from seeing these cool little penguins on the rocks here. Amazing. Take a look at this. I've only been in Australia literally two days and already I'm seeing a species that I've never properly seen in the wild before so it just shows you the nature here is abundant um, it is totally crazy and something that I'm totally enjoying already now just quickly unfortunately a bit of a misconception about Australia so far anyway there's um this misconception that um, these Australians are walking around g'day g'day all that um, I haven't seen that yet in fact out of the three places that I've been so far the Australians seem the most private um, and unfriendly people of course I've just come from Fiji one of the most friendly places in the world but comparing it to a similarity of New Zealand it really doesn't compare that everyone seems very private there's no smiling going on no conversations hellos etc and so I'm a bit disappointed with that but maybe that's just Melbourne um, I've been told that the East Coast completely changes I go up now and I'm only in Melbourne which is in the subsection of or the state of Australia Victoria. Now the east coast if you look on the map is divided into three. Uh, we have Victoria at the bottom, then New South Wales which features things like Sydney and then of course 
Queensland, which is Brisbane, Cairns, etc. Now, Brisbane and Cairns and that part of the coast is a lot more activity hubs, um, so I'm going to be trying to do a lot more on there. But in terms of the nature, I'm hoping to see so much here, and I'm so excited to literally be standing here. It seems a bit unbelievable that I'm here in Australia, um, something that I've been wanting to do for such a long time. It's lovely, it certainly hasn't let me down, just the people are slightly different to what I thought. But anyway, there's so much still to come in this. Um, I'm gonna be moving up um, to the capital tomorrow, Canberra, and then Sydney. Um, talking of Canberra, it's a bit of a misconception, um, but Melbourne and Sydney are such big cities and they couldn't decide which was the capital, so they put it right in the middle, Canberra. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be going to Sydney as well, the iconic, beautiful location there and hopefully I'll be getting some footage of Sydney Harbour. So that's all to come on Jackson Trails.